Okay, so let us start with the first question of chapter four from ZTD. So the question is of a symmetric potential well, and uh, the potential is given as v of x equals to zero from minus a by two to a by two and infinity. So it will look something like this. This is minus a by two. This is plus a by two. Over here, somewhere zero. So over here, the potential is zero in this range, and otherwise it's infinity on either side of a by two. So first, we have to find the ground state, first excited state, and second excited state of the wave function. Then we have to find the expression for e one, e two, and e three, and then we have to plot the probabilities of p two and p three. The fourth question goes with the average. mean mean value of x in the second excited first excited state and the similarly all the other three quantities and finally to evaluate the uncertainties and for first excited and second excited state all right so well, let's start with the question i won't be going into each and every single mathematical detail Cause that would then like extend the video for like an hour, but I will just go through the main topics and how to get to the answer. Okay, so first to find the ground state. Before we go ahead, proceed to that part. Let's remember one thing that if our well is from zero to say a. then the wave function of any nth state is under root 2 by l sin n pi x by l then if we shift our well on the left hand side okay on the, this is we have shifted our world on the right hand side by some quantity then our psi n will be under root 2 by l sin n okay so let, let's consider for the moment that it's not a it's actually l the length of Or rather, say the width of our well. So this also is L. So we have shifted the center by a quantity a. Okay. So n pi x minus a by L. And similarly. If I have shifted it on the left side to some minus a, and here is my zero with length l, and psi n will be under root two by l sine n pi x. Plus a by l. Okay, now we will apply this concept into our problem. Mm -hmm. I mean to say that we have shifted our center to zero, and we have shifted the whole well by the distance a by two. So on the left hand side it will be minus a by two. On the right hand side it will be plus a by two. So my psi n general psi n will be under two by l sin n pi x minus a by two upon l. Okay, and uh, 
my l l over here is minus a by 2 plus a by 2 it's a j so i can just substitute my l equals to a so psi n will be under root 2 by l sin n pi x by a sorry it, it will be plus over here plus n pi by 2 all right so this a and l over here will get cancelled so this will be our answer for ground state we have to put n equal to 1 we get psi 1 and the value of psi 1 is 2 by l sine pi x pi a plus pi by 2 that will be under root 2 by l cos pi x by a all right now the second one is first excited strain that is n equals to 2 psi 2 equals to 2 by l sin 2 pi x by a plus 2 pi by 2 so 2 pi by 2 is nothing but pi and uh, sin pi plus 2 pi x by a is nothing but sin itself so it will be 2 pi by l by l sin 2 pi x by a and finally we have to find it for the second excited state that is n equals to 3 and the answer would be psi 3 under root 2 pi by l sin 3 pi x by l plus 3 pi by 2 okay and this will nothing but 2 by l sorry that would turn to cos 3 pi x by l so the answer to our first question is 1 2 and 3 so you can pause and see the answers if you would like to now we'll move on to next question our next question says that find the expression for e1 e2 and e3 so one thing uh, you must remember that uh, during the shifting these kind of shifting that the energy the energy eigenvalue doesn't change so energy eigenvalue for any nth state even in the symmetric potential symmetric infinite potential would remain the same and that would be n square pi square h cut square by 2 m a square if a is the width of the will so so for the e1 we get pi square h cut square by 2m a square for e2 we get 2 square pi square h cut square by 2m a square e3 we get 3 square pi square h cut square by 2m a square to get the further knowledge on how to derive these energy eigenvalues i would suggest go back to the schrodinger equation and like how we do that for the infinite potential well from zero to a the procedure similar procedure will follow and now coming to the next question now we have to plot the probability densities for p2 and p3 and these p2 and p3 are not just with respect to position so these probability densities are not just with respect to space it also includes time so first we have to write psi 2 x comma t and that will be nothing but under root 2 by l e to the power minus i e 2 t by h cut sine psi 2 what was the equation sine sin 2 pi x by l sorry i just have to replace by a everywhere since we have taken a in the question okay 
now probability p2 will be psi psi star 2 and psi 2 so in that these exponential term will get cancelled and we will just be left with 2 by a sine square 2 pi x by a now we have to plot this thing okay so one thing you can observe that at uh, at a equal to at x equals to 0 this is minus a by 2 and plus a by 2 okay now if you put at x equals to 0 the whole thing like diminishes to 0 all right and yeah so one node we will get at 0 so this is one thing and if i put x equals to plus a by 2 and minus a by 2 i still get zeros so sine pi is nothing but zeros over here and over here itself now if i put at x equals to a by 4 so this will give me the maximum value on both of the side at plus a by 4 and minus a by 4 and the maximum value would be uh, 2 by a so, so this is my plus a by 4 and my minus a by 4 and function would look something like this so this is my p2 represented with orange all right now let's go for p3 for p3 first we have to write psi 3x comma t and that was under root 2 by a e to the power minus i e3 t by h cut cos 3 pi x by a all right now for p3 we have to take psi 3 star and psi 3 and again these exponential terms will get cancelled and they are the conjugate in the other one like for the psi star the it, it will be the conjugate of this so we are left with 2 by a cos square sorry cos square 3 pi x by a please pardon me please pardon me with the firecracker volume like noise over here because it's kind of diwali season and that's bound to happen in india okay now we'll start plotting this thing this p3 so minus a by 2 and plus a by 2 over here we have 0 so for if i put my x equals to 0 then we can see we can see that for x equals to 0 my cos is maximum so let's say i have my maximum at 2 by a somewhere over here okay just let me correct some points and now if i put my x equals to let's say uh, a by 6 then i get the minima that is cos pi by 2 is nothing but 0 so if i put it as a by 6 i get a minima okay and again if i put uh, let's say um, if i put it at um, okay even on the negative side first let me put that as minus a by 6 and now let's see what happens at a by 3 a, at a by 3 cos pi is minus 1 but cos pi square would be 1 it would give me 1 so at a by 3 again i will get something positive similarly on minus a by 3 i will get my maximum so now i will start plotting p3 
फर्स्ट आई गेट मैक्सिमम एट जीरो एंड अगेन हो दिस इज माई टू बाई ए सो दिस इज माई पी थ्री दैट्स हाउ वुड विल दैट्स हाउ द प्लॉट ऑफ दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी डेंसिटी इज फॉर फर्स्ट एक्साइटेड स्टेट एंड सेकेंड एक्साइटेड स्टेट वुड लुक सो दिस इज वन एंड ओवर वन थिंग यू कैन नोटिस दैट इन पी थ्री वी हैव टू नोट द एंड नोट डजेंट काउंट एंड फॉर पी टू वी हैव द सिंगल नोट सो यू कैन जनरलाइज दिस हाउ इट विल गो फॉर द एन एक्साइटेड स्टेट ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वे टू फाइंड द मेन वैल्यू ऑफ पोजिशन फॉर टू डिफरेंट स्टेट सो फॉर दिस आई वुड नॉट आई विल नॉट बी शोइंग द कैलकुलेशन एंड डेप बट आई वुड रेदर just print the answer and we can move ahead so you can just pause the screen and see the steps if you would like to and i will just highlight the main answer for each of them all right okay so i'm just pausing the screen for a moment to like you can pause and see for how the solution went for mean value of second for the say first excited state and similarly we can go for the second excited state that is psi 3 it's also coming to be zero and uh, the mean value of momentum will also be zero because the function like the eigen function are themselves real so the mean value would be zero for moment the mean value of momentum would be zero now we'll go on to calculate x square of first excited state x square of second excited state p square of second excited state and p square of first excited and second excited state. and they will uh, try to make up delta x and delta p for both of them and finally multiply delta x and delta p to get some uncertainty value so uh, i think i would just stop here since i have already found the wave function over here for you all so this is one of the main wave functions so with this i think you can go ahead and further calculate on how do these results come out for the fourth questions and once you get it i hope i i would really like if someone can like mention that in comment so i guess that's it for this question thank you